What I am about to show you is in no way, shape, form harassing or bullying. It is merely, literally, to help you all stop the fraud and scams of Pastor Freedom. That's all I'm doing. I'm not harassing or bullying anyone. I am stopping the frauds and scams of Pastor Freedom. And y'all know, I could not have made this happen without my team, my team of experts, my team of beautiful souls, beautiful people. We was frustrated with each other for a moment. <laughs> we wanted to pull each other hair out for a moment, but we got this together, this whole series. I could not have done this without my team. Y'all know who y'all are. I'm not gonna say y'all name. But I just want to say thank you. And we fucking rock together. We a team together. When I say investigators, investigators. I want to thank everybody that supported me during this process. I want to thank you all. Y'all are so beautiful. I feel like I have created a whole family for real. Like for real, for real. Thank you. Thank you. Even though we wanted to pull each other hair out for a second. <laughs> I got frustrated. I got frustrated, y'all. I got frustrated because I was like, <sighs> you know, I got kids and shit and all type of shit was going on. I, I thought I was like, forget it. I don't even want to. I don't even care. But I love y'all because y'all stuck by my side and y'all rocked with me. So let's get into this series, y'all. Let's get into series number 14. Again, this is not to defame, harass, or bully anyone. This is to bring awareness of the scams and fraud and deceptive practices of paths to freedom. Hopefully, this will be the last series, series 14. If we have to do a 15, we will. Let's get into it. So, paths to freedom has now literally got a brand new 2024. No, it wasn't brand new. It's used. 2024 BMW with a purchase order. With a purchase order. Let's go. Hear for yourself. Ooh. <laughs> now, this is public records, okay? This has been posted on the Past to Freedom 2022 page. And I just want everybody to just listen to it. They're bragging about using a PO to get this car. The three, not the two, I'm the UNO. And I'll take this shit like the Super Bowl, man. This shit damn the biggest the what? Biggest the what? Big as a brand new Mercedes Benz right off the lot. Paid in full with the PO process. Pass to freedom, live what she teach. Pass to freedom is the go. The 11th was yesterday, by the way. So if you want to know how to just walk onto any car lot and get a Benz, tap in. These niggas out here scamming. No I'm about to prove it. These niggas fooling you. They out here scamming, taking your money. They is fooling you. They out here taking your money. Just listen to this clip, to this clip I got. Call yourself receipt dropper, bitch. You're lying. This is Elon. How much do I get Hi. Um, I was calling in reference to a Mercedes-Benz white. I was supposed to be transferred to the uh, sales team. Oh, yeah. Let me reconnect you. Thank you. Thank you for calling Mercedes-Benz of Houston. This is Austin. Hi, Austin. How are you? Is this James Austin Rhymes? Yes, it is. Hi, James. I am calling because I basically just received a referral from a client that of yours um, that I'm aware of um, that just purchased a white Mercedes-Benz. Um, I have the stock number for you to reference. That was just purchased? Yeah. Do you know when? Um, it was purchased actually yesterday. Yesterday, okay. Yeah, the, uh, the C three hundred. Yeah, I believe so. Yes, it's. Uh, I can give you the stock number to confirm, but it's a uh, fifty two forty one, fifty one. The number eight. A is an apple. Eight? Yep, eight oh, is the apple. number. Is yep, so it's fifty two forty one fifty one. Eight is the number, and then A is an apple. Gotcha. Yeah, let me pull up on this one. 
Perfect. Thank you. But, uh, did, yeah, did Miss Thorpe refer you? Refer you? How can I help? Yes, she was saying that she purchased the vehicle with the purchase order, and I wanted to know the process um, that I would need to do in order for you know to me to get a purchase as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, would you be using a trust as well? Would you be um, doing your personal name? I mean, it all just depends on, on how you go about it. It would be a trust. So I'm curious. So like, trust. yeah. Okay. Um, funny you asked. That was my first trust <laughs> deal I worked with with Miss Thorpe. She's a very nice lady. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so I think I would just give you a... A document that you would fill out for your trust okay um, and then I believe you would send your document um, like with the notary on it or maybe we would notarize it here okay um, and we'd get that figured out but nonetheless our most important goal is to find you the correct car um, okay. that you love and that you want want to take home of course and then we'll make the rest easy figure all that out okay so you guys do take purchase orders Cause she was, um, she was saying, yeah, I was able to get my vehicle with the purchase order. That's it. yeah, yeah. So I can print you one out. I think that may be what she was referring to. Okay, and so uh -huh. th then what would I have to do on my on my end? Would I have to take it to my bank? Um, I mean, in your trust, I think we would just title it out to your trust. Okay. Um, I'm, 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 a, I'm not too familiar with how it works with trust. It, with a bank, yes, we would get you a purchase order. It would have your name, titling address. We would put the vehicle on it, the payment, all that fun stuff there, and then you would just take it to your bank, and I guess they would take out a loan, um, an auto loan for you. However, we also do um, financing here as well and cash options, so you could even do it at the dealership, just whatever is more convenient and whoever gets you the better rate. Okay, so it's not, so the purchase order, is, it, it wouldn't be paid in full then with the purchase order, correct? I would correct. still need yeah, to. If you, were, if you were doing a purchase order, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, except for the trust, I think it's a little bit different. And, and what? But typically, people take mm -hmm. a, a purchase order to finance. So they, t okay, okay. So basically I would get the purchase order from you and then I would take it over to the bank to get a loan or something of that nature. Yes, if, if you were doing it in the trust. Okay. Um, and then we would receive like a wire from the trust um, and that the purchase order is just essentially your ticket to be able to send the wire because you have all the information you need on it, like what you're getting, the price. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I would just. I mean, what? Mm -hmm. What were you looking for? So I was looking for actually an SUV. Okay. Uh, a third row SUV or two rows? Two rows. Two rows. Got it. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the Mercedes SUV lineup at all? I am. I am. I'm just kind of yes. I'm just kind of stuck um, between the uh, GLC. Mm -hmm. And then I'm confused, not really confused, but I'm just kind of stuck between the GLC and the GLA um, in, in a sense of what I want. I was looking at the G-Class um, SUV as well, but I'm, I'm still under, like indecisive. Mm. This um, I mean, do you live in the Houston area? I do. And what's your number? I have uh, no caller ID here. Oh, I can definitely give you that. It's going to be 646. 646. 404. 404. Mm-hmm. 2122. 2122, yes, ma'am. Uh, and wh where's the 646 number from? The 646 number? Oh, that's a New York number. Oh, okay. Are you from New York? No, actually, I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotcha. I tend to move around a lot. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, um, I mean, have you seen the GLC or GLA in person? I have, and that's why I'm kind of yeah. like 
confused because I'm like very much a family girl, but I'm also like a girl that likes to hang out with her girlfriends and look cute, um, of course, of course. you know. And so I'm just kind of like indecisive, especially when it comes to like the pricing. I really wanted to figure out how would the purchase order option work because she definitely bragged about um, it being paid off, you know, through the purchase order option with you guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm like interested. So, mm -hmm. For her, I think she got a purchase order from <coughs> us, which it had uh, Miss Thorpe's name, address, titling information, which was in the trust, to which I believe she just turned into her trust, and the trust just wired us the money. Okay. Um, so, so that's why she got the purchase order there. If you were doing it with the trust, it would be similar to that. Okay. Um, or if you just did it in your personal name, then that's a different route. We would just do a credit application. Um, or a cash payment, it would just be wh whatever was easier for you. Okay, all right, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, Austin, I'm going to look at this real quick, and I'm going to give you a call back um, and see, look at my schedule and see when I can schedule to come in and sit down with you and look at some of the vehicles again in person to make a decision. Um, what, uh -huh. when, when are you, like, what are your available days? So we are open Monday through Friday, 8 to 7.30 p.m. I'm typically here 10.30 to 7.30 p.m. Okay. And Saturdays, we are open from 8 to 6. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'll give you a call on Tuesday. I have some things to do on Monday and this weekend, but I'll yes, definitely give you a call on Tuesday and follow uh, up yes, with you. Yeah, well, and what was your name? Stacy. Stacy, is that S T A C Y? Or yes. -Y? Yep, S T A C E Y. Yes, ma'am. And your last name is? Last Stacey? name is Malone. M A L O N E? Yes, that's correct. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, a couple more questions because I can send you some vehicles too and they fit your description. Are you looking for certified pre owned or new vehicles? Certified pre-owned. I'm actually looking on your, I'm currently looking on your website now. I was looking at um, a few different options, but I really want to be able to look this over with my, my partner before I go jump off the off the, the cliff and I be sleeping on the couch. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm definitely going to give you a call back on Tuesday, make sure that I have everything together, and then um, we can schedule a time for both myself and my partner to come in. Yeah, sounds good. Um, okay. And one more thing, I mean, do you have any color preferences for exterior and interior? Um, I'm looking at black, um, and then I really want red, um, interior, but I don't know if that's going to be able to work. Okay. I do have a 2023 pre-owned. It's a white exterior, but it has a black and red interior. It's okay. It's a GLC with an AMG line. It's a really good looking car, and I know earlier you said you want something you know, that looks cool when you're hanging around with your girlfriends. Yes. With GLC, so you're also going to have some room. Um, so I'll, I'll keep that in mind, and I'll send you some packets on some ones, too, that I think you may enjoy. Okay, perfect. Thank you so uh, much. Of course, my pleasure. But nonetheless, yeah, we'll touch base. I, th I think you said on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I'm, yes. I think beat you a day, too, and reach out on Monday. Um, and we'll see when's a good time next week for you to come in. We'll test drive, see which one you really love. And then make the rest of the process super easy for you. Okay, perfect. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yeah, my pleasure. Talk to you Again, soon. My name's Austin. It was it was nice to meet you, Miss Malone. Yes. Bye bye. All right. Have a nice weekend. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> Y'all say bloop. I say boop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. She paid for that BMW. With your money. She wired it from her trust account where the money has been sitting from you all. She didn't pay for it with a purchase order. But I'm a hater. I'm trying to help you dumb motherfuckers. But I'm a hater? Okay. Now after this, after this, you deserve to be scammed. If you keep being over there to a path that's scamming you, you deserve it. After this, you deserve to be scammed. Period. Now, I want my 40 fat K that she say that I took. You owe that to me for defaming my character, harassing me, bullying me, stalking me, threatening my children, 
you owe that to me. And every time you mention my name, I'm going to pop up like that. I'm going to pop up. Pop up. I'm going to pop, pop, pop. I'm going to pop up. Keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. Because you don't know who watching. You don't know who looking. And you don't know who listening. Your name ain't been in my mouth in two years. I ain't thought about you, ho. But you steady fucking with me. Yeah. And I got the series to prove it. Stop the fame of my character. Leave me and my family alone. Don't make me come back with another series. Series 15. Don't make me come back with a series 15. Don't make me do that now. Because I will. I will. Live your life and leave me alone. But I want my 45K that you claim I took from you. Nah, bitch. You owe that to me. Period. Now, there will be an FBI complaint form link in the description below. As well, as well as the petition in the description link below. Feel free to sign it if you have to. In the best words of myself, hello there and goodbye. Oh, and uh, oh, these haters on my body, shake them off. She shouldn't have called me on my cell phone. <laughs> she shouldn't have called me. <laughs> You shouldn't have called me on my cell phone because every time you mention my name, the ancestors going to come to me. They're going to bring it to me and they're going to speak. And then I'm going to speak because my heart is pure. And I ain't got to scam nobody. I might be broke is what you want to call it. I might be whatever. But I ain't no motherfucking scammer. And I ain't out here asking for no donations. Enjoy your day. She wired the money from her bank that y'all paid for. It wasn't purchased with a purchase order. But I ain't got to say it again. Just sign a petition and a complaint form. Both links is in the description box below. She's a runner. She's a track star. She gonna run away when it gets hard.